everybody feels sorry for me, right? Pray for me. This is a bad dude. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Dog Pound. I'm M Dog, and I want to thank you all for choosing to be right here, right now, with me. I appreciate all of you so much, and I'm grateful for your support. I've got a really cool video planned for you guys today. But before we get started, if you'd be so kind and smash that like button, share this video with a like-minded, freedom-loving friend or two, and then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content that gets uploaded to the channel. You guys help us out so much just by doing those couple of things. All of us that have Pro 2A channels really need your help to keep our content moving to stay visible to other like-minded patriots who share our passion and love our freedom. So when you like our videos and drop a comment, you are letting us know that you love your rights and our Second Amendment, and we are all very unapologetic about that. You can also follow me over on True Social, Facebook, X, Instagram, and Patreon at The Dog Pound with Them Dog, and I'm now posting videos over on Rumble at Dog Pound with Them Dog, and that's all one word spelled just like you see it right here at the bottom of your screen. And if you'd like to help us out because we are a self-funded channel, you can do so by becoming a member of our Dog Pound family by clicking on that awesome membership button. If you do that, you receive discounts on all Dog Pound merchandise and you'll be listed as a supporter in the credits of all of our videos. You can also help us out by grabbing one or two of these very cool Dog Pound t-shirts. Now, let's get started. Today, I'm doing a follow-up 500 round review on one of the best purchases I made in 2023. A pistol that I passed by on until Austin over at Steele's Gun Shop had me take a look at it. From that moment on, I really took a strong liking to it. The problem for me was, so did Tammy. Now, I'm not really complaining because I consider myself a very blessed man. I have a wife who has been my best friend for over 33 years and she has made many sacrifices in that time just because she's my wife. We won't get into the gory details of it all. Maybe we'll save that for another day. But trust me when I tell you, she deserves a medal for the things she has been through and somehow did it with a smile on her face. So I was happy to give my Masada to her since she loves great firearms almost as much as I do. I guess you've guessed it by now. This video is the 500 round review of the IWI Masada Slim or Masada S chambered in 9mm. And as you can see, the weapon is clear, nothing in the magwell, 
All of our weapons are spot checked prior to each every, each and every video just to make sure everyone stays safe and sound here on set. So we're good. If you guys saw the first shots fired out of the box review and then the 300 round follow up review that I did on the Masada S, then you've seen how well this gun has performed up to this point, how I feel about it. You should also know that Tammy would not be using it as her EDC if she or I didn't 100% trust its reliability and her ability to be effective with it. And up to this point, we haven't experienced a single malfunction of any kind with the Masada S, regardless of the ammo we were using. It is very accurate out of the box, and the recoil is very manageable even for someone with a smaller frame and small hands like Tammy, or even if you have very large frame and Sasquatch hands like me. The Masada S is the continuation of the awesome Masada line of pistols. Developed with a thin profile and compact design, it allows for ease of concealed carry while providing substantial mag capacity. And with that being said, let's take a quick look at the specs on the IWI Masada S chambered in 9mm. The Masada S is a compact polymer striker fired pistol. Like the full size Masada, this pistol has a modular serialized high grade steel trigger mechanism housing that can be easily removed for cleaning and maintenance. Currently offered in 9mm, the Masada S comes with two 13 round magazines. It weighs 1.27 pounds without the mag and 1.4 pounds with the mag inserted. The barrel length is 3.4 inches long. The Masada S comes with a white front dot sight and a blacked out rear sight. The slide utilizes the RMS shield optics cut for direct optic mounting. The Masada S has a flat trigger with a clean and crisp break and a positive reset with a built in trigger safety which prevents the pistol from firing unless the trigger is pulled. Overall, the Masada S stays true to the long history of the IWI firearms and it is, is built to withstand the elements of time while performing when it matters the most. The ammunition that I'm going to be shooting today is the 115 grain full metal jackets from LAX Ammunition. It has performed well for us out here on the range and it's our most frequently used range ammunition. LAX is a part of the Freedom Munitions family and they're an awesome company to do business with if you're looking for some great deals on ammo. You'll like their ammo, but you'll love their prices. I've got the mags loaded up and ready to go. Let's head out to the range and have some fun and then I'll see you guys back here in a bit for my final thoughts. Let's roll. Welcome to the range again, everybody. We are out here with this awesome little pistol, the 500 round review of the IWI Masada S. The one that got away because of Tammy. Not complaining, but it is a very nice little pistol. Let's, uh, let's get it to 500 and make sure my opinion of it doesn't change.
Still shoots good. Very nice. I haven't shot it in a while. I wonder why that is. But it still shoots really nice. And uh, it's just, it's a comfortable shoot. For $400, you've got a gun here that basically fits kind of the same size dimensions and so on and so forth, the same specs as your P365, like your X Macro or something like that. So about the same measurements, same weight, not quite as much capacity. This one's only got the 13 rounds, but still very easy to conceal and just a great reliable EDC pistol. We ready? We ready to do this? Let's do this! Shoot with gloves for the first time, people. Be interesting. Let's hope this works. All right. Mm -mm. Okay, top left. All right, now we even. We we back. That's not as easy as you think it is. You just get to have it. I'm going to make it all kinds of awkward faces, I'm sure, but I. That's really hard. Okay, I'll work on that, but I don't think it's going to be such a great idea. I think we're going to have to go with me going. Whatever you got to do to make you accurate, that's all. Oh. Come on. We're going to run two more mags through the Masada S. I don't know if I mentioned it, but we are using the 115 grain full metal jackets from LAX and uh, they perform really well. But we're gonna run a mag. We'll do mostly double taps with this one. And then um, for the last mag, just to make sure everything's functioning the way it should be, we'll, uh, we'll do a rapid fire mag dump, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, when you're having fun, it goes really quick.
And that's how the game was played, my friends. The Masada S still does not disappoint. And I will tell you guys, $400, it's hard to beat it. Guys, thank you so much for being out here with us today. Uh, we're running out of daylight. We've put 100 rounds again through the Masada S, putting us over the 500 round mark. Still not a single malfunction with this gun. It's an absolutely just fantastic little handgun. And um, if you're in the market for a new EDC, please don't overlook them. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't work for them. I'm a customer just like you, and I just enjoy good quality firearms that are reliable. Well, the IWI Masada S is all of that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tammy and I like it so much. And please, if you don't mind, hit that like button before we go. And with that being said, we're going to get out of here. I, W, I, Masada S, 9mm. This is a bad dude. See it to kill us my final thoughts. It's a girl, by the way, so it's not a dude. Okay? Welcome back to the kennel. So my final thoughts on the 500 round review of the IWI Masada S chambered in 9mm. Awesome carry pistol. No need to get into it too deep. You guys have seen it before. You saw the, fir the first two videos we did and now you've seen us do up to 500 rounds with the firearm. It has performed flawlessly. It works well for Tammy. It is a great carry gun, and it works well for anyone who would need it for that purpose. Uh, I highly recommend the IWI Masada S to anyone who is looking for a light, compact, easy to conceal carry pistol. It checks all the boxes, and I'm sure you would feel the very same way about it. Please don't forget to smash that like button on this video, and if you enjoy the content that you see here on our channel, it helps us a lot if you also hit that subscribe button. You can unsubscribe later on if you suddenly have a change of heart. Even if you don't want to subscribe to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed to your favorite Pro 2A channels. All of us are working very hard to keep this type of content alive and well here on this platform, but we need your help to get our content out so it can be seen by all who share our passion. So, from all of us here at the Dog Pound, Thank you in advance for caring enough to do so. I'd like to thank the following businesses for all the help and support they've given to the channel. Steel's Gun Shop, Splatter Burst Targets, Ballastall, Timber Trail E-Bikes, and The Scent Stopper. We couldn't do this without the support from those great companies. Be sure to check them out when you get the time to do so. All of their information will be included right down here in the description of this video. And as always, my fellow Freedom Seed slinging friends, spend time with the ones you love the most. Time spent with them is always time well spent. Shoot straight, shoot often, stay safe. Most importantly, God bless you and yours. I'm M Dog, and I'll see you next time on the Dog Pound. IWI Masada Slim. And I always say it's a bad dude. This one here is a bad little dude, and we gone. Boom.